Hello guys, my name is Nami K Stitches and here is my first video on how to cut a six pieces blouse with pad. Okay. My first measurement is my full length, my blouse length. My blouse length is 25 and here I have 27 with sewing inches allowance. This is my nipple to nipple. My nipple to nipple is four and a half plus half inch allowance. That's five inch. My bust point is ten plus half inch allowance. That's ten and a half. My under bust is fifteen plus half inch allowance. That's fifteen and a half. My half length is seventeen plus half inch allowance. That's seventeen and a half. And here is my full length, twenty seven. Right under my under bust here, I'm marking one inch, one and a half inch. You can use one inch, but I'm using one and a half inch inside. One and a half inch. Same thing to the half length as well. One and a half inch. I'm putting it in a straight line. Up here, one and one inch inside. Then my bust point, one inch upward. Okay. I'm using my French cuff to cut to cuff out the under bust. And from here, okay, you can use your ruler because my French cuff is not that long. From here to my one inch in. Okay. And down here, I'm marking three inch for the hair line. Remember, it's a six pieces blouse. Then I'm joining it together with my half length, the half length of the blouse. Okay, guys. This is my half length. I have 25, but I'm using 27 with the sewing inches allowance. Here to here is my breast point. That's four and a half, but I'm using five inch with sewing inches allowance. From here to here is my under and uh, my breast point, which is ten, but I'm using ten and a half with sewing allowance. Here is my under bust, which is fifteen. I'm using fifteen and a half plus sewing allowance. And here is the half length, which is seventeen. I'm using seventeen and a half for my half length. And here is three inches for the A-line. Remember, it's a six pieces blouse. Then I join it together with the half length of my blouse. So I'm cutting it out. I'm cutting the full length out. Okay, after cutting it out like this, you place this on this. Remember, our bust and um, bust point is still there, under bust and half length. Okay. My bust is 10, and um, my bust is 40, 40 divided by 4, 
is thin. You know this is supposed to be this is supposed to be here. Then because I have 10 and um, I have five inches here. I'm placing my five inches out here with my bust divided into four is ten. Here is the ten with sewing allowance two inch. And my waist, my waist is 32, and this is, I have four here. Yeah. You know this four is supposed to be here. Yeah. Then I'm turning my tape The four is outside like this. Then 32 divided by four will be eight. I'm marking my eight here. Yeah. Eight with two inch allowance. Is almost same with the bust. Then I'm ruling it out. Don't forget our A line. Remember, it's a six pieces blouse. With three inches here. Yeah. Oh my the main fabric here is three inches. Then I'm marking it from my waistline. Yes, that is for the two sides. I'm not cutting the arm hole yet. I'm not shaping the waist yet. I'm cutting it out, adding my interface, join the front, the sides, then fold it together, cut my armhole, shape my waist out with a line. Cutting here as well. Yes. Okay. After adding your interface, you join this together with this. Make sure the under bust are correspond. You sew with half inch, half inch, all through. Same as here too. You sew with half inch, all through. Same goes to your lining as well. You add your inf interface to your lining and join the two sides together with half half inch. I'm joining. Okay, joined together. The two sides are joined together. After joining it, you open your stitches, iron it, iron the two sides. Open it and iron it. You can see. Here is the two breasts, the six pieces, one, two, three, and three for the backs. Here is the breast. So I'm cutting the arm hole and the neck. Fold it into two. 
to cut your arm hole and the neck. Okay, make it stop it. First, your back measurement. My back measurement is 15. 15 divided by 2. That's 7.5. With sewing inch allowance, it will be 8 inch. I'm marking my 8 here. Length of my sleeve should be 8 with 1 inch for shoulder slope. I'm using 9. And you connect it in a straight line. The wideness of my neck is 8 divided by 2. That is 4. The depth of my neck is 6. Shocking my 6 here. So I'm going to use my French cuff to connect this to this. Marking one inch down for my shoulder slope, connecting it from here to here for my shoulder slope. The armhole can't be straight, it has to be curvy. So I'm marking one inch in. I'm using my French cuff to connect from here down. That's all. I'm cutting it out. <coughs> the shoulder slope. The neck region. Yes. After cutting the arm all, the shoulder slope and the neck, you come down. This angle is not supposed to be there. You mark half inch up. One inch up here. Then you match it. Ok, 
okay this is the result of our six pieces blouse you can see how lovely it is so beautiful i'm loving this blouse already the breast the neck the arm hold, the shoulder slope the shape wow so beautiful then you cover the inside with your lining join the back together with your shoulder shape the two sides and add whatever sleeve of your choice thank you thank you guys hope you all understand this six pieces blouse tutorial and please don't forget to subscribe and press the bell button to notify you guys whenever i drop my new video thank you god bless you mm -hmm.